There are many iOS 17 and iOS 18 features that are expected to launch throughout the year 2024. New iOS features expected in 2024 include stolen device protection, AirPlay on hotel room TVs, app side loading in the Europe, next generation CarPlay, roadside assistance via satellite outside of the US, RCS support in the Messages app, generative AI for Siri, stolen device protection. Apple says the feature is designed to add an additional layer of security in the event someone has stolen your iPhone and also obtained the device's passcode. When the feature is turned on, Face ID or Touch ID authentication is strictly required for the following actions, with a passcode fallback no longer available. Accessing passwords or passkeys saved in iCloud Keychain. Applying for a new Apple Card or viewing an Apple Card's virtual number. Turning off lost mode. Erasing all content and settings. Taking certain Apple Cash and Apple Card savings actions in the wallet app. Using payment methods saved in Safari using your iPhone to set up a new device. For especially sensitive actions, including changing the password of the Apple ID account associated with the iPhone, the feature adds a one-hour security delay on top of biometric authentication. In these cases, the user must authenticate with Face ID or Touch ID, wait one hour, and authenticate with Face ID or Touch ID again. However, Apple says there is no delay when the iPhone is in familiar locations, such as at home or work. AirPlay on hotel room TVs. This feature is expected to be added in an iOS 17 update in the first half of year 2024. The feature will allow iPhone users to scan a QR code on their hotel room TV to establish an AirPlay connection, allowing them to wirelessly stream videos, photos, and music from their iPhone to the TV. App side loading in Europe. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman reported that Apple was preparing to allow app side loading on the iPhone in order to comply with the European Union's Digital Markets Act. This would allow users to install apps outside of Apple's App Store, but the change is only expected to be made in European Union countries, at least initially. Next Generation CarPlay Apple said that the first vehicles with support for its next generation CarPlay system would be announced in late 2023, and it delivered on that promise with just days to spare. Aston Martin confirmed that it will release its first vehicles with next generation CarPlay in 2024, but there is no specific time frame, and details remain slim. Roadside assistance via satellite outside US. Starting with iOS 17, all iPhone 14 and iPhone 15 models offer a roadside assistance via satellite feature that allows users in the US to contact roadside assistance company AAA for vehicle service when outside of cellular and Wi-Fi coverage. Apple said the feature is available, beginning, in the US, so it will likely expand to some additional countries starting in 2024. RCS support. In November, Apple announced that it will support the cross-platform messaging standard RCS in the Messages app on the iPhone starting later next year, so it will likely be an iOS 18 feature based on that timeframe. RCS support should result in the following improvements to the default messaging experience between iPhones and Android devices. Higher resolution photos and videos. Audio messages. Typing indicators. Read receipts. Wi-Fi messaging between iPhones and Android devices. Improved group chats, including the ability for iPhone users to leave a conversation that includes Android users. Improved encryption compared to SMS. These modern features are already available for iPhone-to-iPhone -iPhone conversations with Blue Bubbles, via iMessage, and many of the features are also available in third-party messaging apps, such as WhatsApp and Telegram. RCS support on the iPhone will extend the features to Green Bubbles in the Messages app. Smarter Siri. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman expects iOS 18 to feature generative AI technology that should improve how both Siri and the Messages app can field questions and auto-complete sentences. He said Apple has also explored generative AI features for other apps across its platforms, including Apple Music, Pages, Keynote, and Xcode. Large language models. Apple plans to incorporate large language models into Siri to let users automate complex tasks, a feature that would involve deeper integration with the Shortcuts app. The report said this feature is expected to be released in an iPhone software update coming next year, which would likely be iOS 18.